Hi, Pat Doherty here at IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, part of the Boletary Tennis Program. Today we're going to show you Sani. We introduced her to you almost two years ago when she was just 10 years old. Relative beginner, maybe just barely an intermediate at the time. And we put a ton of work into her game since then, about five hours a week, working through logical progressions of teaching to create what you're going to see today. Now Sani's 33 in the nation, inside the top 10 in the state of Florida, and she just turned 12 years old. She's still got another year. We're going to show you her full arsenal of serves and explain how she does it and what she can do with it in match play. Let's get going. We started about two years ago building this serve, and we started with this drill right here. This is the cylinder drill, what we want, the most minimal, simplified serve you can hit like you're standing in a ball tube or a cylinder up to your armpits. We want you to freely pivot with the shoulders, but don't leave the tube. Don't allow your swing to throw you off balance. Now she has complete control. Ultimately, it's a fabulous exercise and less is more. Very important lesson for kids to develop. Now, how we got out of this is once she showed this kind of great body control, we started slowly tilting and building towards an upward line of attack towards contact point where the hips shift out, the shoulders aligned to the ball. But we didn't want to lose all those qualities that she'd built into the cylinder where she's athletically engaged at her highest limit of what we'd call the athletic foundation. She's not starting in the joints like this. She's engaged from the start. She's able to position where she wants to be and create a pole vaulter style launch up to the ball. Now we'll see the finished product almost two years from the time we started on it. What we're now challenging her with is to try to elevate, use this energy she's created in her pole vault type action to get up to higher contact points. Use the energy she's put into the set to launch. Got a very powerful serve for a girl that just turned 12. Now we, we're slowly seeing power increase over time as she gets stronger and she has gotten a lot stronger. So now we started to challenge other styles of serves. This girl's got a complete arsenal of serves now. One of the things, the latest thing we've added was the hard slice, I call it. It's not a cut slice, sharp angle type slice. It's more of the type that you see Federer hit that has a lot of pace on it, but it, it cuts spin and bends to the left nicely with a fair amount of travel speed. that one. Let the contact point get down a little bit. You saw it bend a little right on the on the bounce there. That means the ball was too high. Now she's showing us her, predominantly it's a second serve for her, but it's a change up top spin. The things that we're working on here is to even get this set to launch where her shoulder blades are closer to the ground right there than even that she puts into her flat serve. Sometimes she struggles a bit to to allow the ball to come down, down a little lower for contact like we want. And so by focusing on getting these shoulder blades closer to the ground, that will eat up that time and give the ball a chance to settle in to the lower contact point. When we're talking about top spins and kicks, we've got to make sure that the racket head is making contact to get to true top spin. It's going to be at the level of the grip, not way up here. So when she sees her ball bending and kicking off a little bit that way unintentionally, that means she's reaching up too high for contact and not getting true topspin. So by set, letting it settle down, the ball will have an arc where it wants to come up off the strings first and then down quicker rather than just dropping off the string bed. And that's the hard slice that she uses in the ad side down the tee, which you can see. She doesn't even have to challenge the line at the corner that much. It moves so nicely to the left. She can build in quite a bit of margin of error there, landing it about a foot from the corner, and it's still cross the baseline on the other side of the hash mark. So part of the impression we want to leave on the opponent is not only can we power big down the middle and place it well, we can really work with our spins to expand this range of coverage that you're going to be responsible for on the return so you don't know where to stand. She can beat you in, on any edge of the court. I'm going to put her a little target up, tiny little target, just for kicks. Ever since she was 
just getting started with this, we've always challenged her with really ridiculously tough targets because I wanted her to figure out how you'd have to hit it almost perfectly to get it to that mark. If she carves this about perfectly, she can knock that bottle down. She's not satisfied because she wants to hit that bottle. Oh, and almost got it there. <laughs> if that was a cone, it would have hit it. So a lot of people who'd see this target, again, it's only seven steps from the net, would go, why is he putting her up to this challenge? It's such a ridiculous target. Who'd ever go for that in a match? Well, that's not quite the point. The point of this exercise is, is to show her how close she can get to that. Because if I move it back a little bit, she's gonna just not ever press the envelope much to see if she could actually get even higher up there. So by doing it this way, in her mind, it opens up the possibilities of going a considerable way up that sideline and not questioning whether she could do it. I'm not gonna ever tell her to not do it, not try it. If the score dictates and she's in control of the match, control of that game, heck, show it to the opponent, try it. But I think, you know, realistically, she's gonna be doing quite well, even if that ball lands a couple feet beyond where that bottle is, it's gonna get the job done. Darn good. So now you've seen where Sandy is after just two years. Hard work, this girl works really hard. She's really driven to want to be a top player. And she's well on her way now, but she puts the work in. She's building an arsenal that has everything in it. That's what I wanted to give her, is a full toolbox to work with. And now she's just starting to figure out how these different shots work as tools together to build points, get out of points, and feature all the things she's capable of doing. We'll show you more of what this girl's capable of doing very soon. Serve Doctor checking out from IMG Academy, Voluntary Tennis Program in Bradenton, Florida. See you next time.